What is up, math superstars? In this edition of Mr. Peterson Presents, we're going to talk about how we can put fractions, decimals, and percents in order here. So we're going to give some strategies and hints that are going to help you out to be super successful. So but before we do that, we have some steps that are going to help you out. So three simple steps, that's all you need. So our first step is that we're going to convert all the numbers to a common format. And so once again, in converting numbers, we're just talking about rewriting the numbers in a similar format. The same number can be written three different ways. And then you're going to put them in the required order, which is either ascending or descending. And then you need to rewrite those numbers in the original format. So here in this example, we're going to order these from least to greatest, which is the same if I was going to use the word ascending. So least to greatest. So I'm going smallest number to biggest number. And so if I'm going to change these into a common format, my common format that I like the best is decimal format because it's easier it's easy to compare the place values and so you could choose any different conversion that you want to and if you're st stuck lost or confused on the on the formatting you want to check out pages seven and eight of your notes or if you're on just on youtube find the videos about conversions so what i like is decimal so 135 percent that's the same as one and 35 hundredths 13.5 is going to stay the same and then eight and three fifths is the same as eight and six tenths as a decimal so my first step that i'm going to do is i'm going to take a look at the whole numbers first these numbers to the left of the decimal here and that's going to be our first clue to put them in order from least to greatest and so if i'm going to pick the smallest whole number it is going to be one and 35 hundredths so my smallest whole number is actually going to be 135 or my smallest number sorry is going to be 135 percent next on my list so I got that one done next on the list is going to be eight and six tenths and so I'm going to use the original format when I write this as eight and three fifths and then I only have one left so my one that's left is three and five tenths or 13 and five tenths which I'm going to just write as 13 and 5 tenths. And so what I've done is I have figured out a common format. I figured out the order and then I rewrote them in the original format. And I'm going to double check to make sure that they're smallest to biggest. So my directions say least to greatest. So here's a, di here's a different example is that I'm going to order these from greatest to least. That is going to be the same as the word descending. And so my first step is I need to rewrite these into a common format. So my common format that I like the best is the decimal format, but if whichever one that you like the most, you go with. So 42 hundredths, I'm going to keep that decimal the same. So 4 and 2 tenths percent, that's the same as writing it as 42 thousandths. And then two fifths, that's the same as four tenths. And so in comparing these decimals, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add zeros. So because when comparing these decimals, 
my longest decimal goes to the thousands. So I'm going to make sure that each one of my decimals goes to the thousands place value. So I'm going to go ahead and add zeros here. So 42 hundredths is the same as 420 thousandths. And that four, four tenths is the same as 400 thousandths. So now I can go ahead and compare these decimals. And so I'm going to start in the ones place. They all have the same ones place. So then I'm going to go to the tenths place. So if I'm going to do the biggest number first, because I'm looking for the greatest number, I can say that I'm going to save 4.2% last. And so that's going to be my smallest number. So I'm still going to compare 42 hundredths and two, and two fifths. So I'm going to go to the hundredths place next. And in the hundredths place, 42 hundredths is a bigger number than two fifths. So I'm going to write zero and 42 hundredths is my biggest number. So that one checks out. My next biggest is going to be two fifths. Because I already said that 4 and 2 tenths percent is going to be my smallest number. So I order these numbers from least, um, from greatest to least.